from this activity the whole week for student Casper. So that's gonna be your high five friend for a whole week, okay? So say hi to your high five, your high five, go ahead, you have like five seconds, go ahead. Introduce yourself to the high five friend. Okay, time's up. In your hitting about what? In your hitting about what? Clap three times. Clap three times. Okay, now, pay attention. There's another instruction here. Please run in the class. Not, not run, you know, it's dangerous as well. Find another person. Find another person that you are not ready or ma already mad. So go ahead and find another one. Another one. Say bye to your high five. Say bye to your high five. Got to do high five. Say bye to your high five. Okay, okay. Please make sure you have one. Okay, you can even pick up one. You can even pick up twice. Okay, so this is the new structure. Do you remember your first friend? He was a high five friend. Now this is a low five friend. So say hi to your low five. Low five friend. Say hi to your low five friend. Okay, okay. Do the same. Ask him where he from, where she from, what is she expecting from the student passport, what is she doing, anything you just make new friend. Okay, that's going to be your, your, your low five. Así que los que están en español, por favor, si usted va a saludar a esta persona que es su amigo del low five, el del five abajo. Y usted le va a preguntar de dónde es, qué hace, qué espera del Student Passport, todo eso, así que vamos haciendo ese networking. So you have like, one minute, go ahead. Seconds, 15 seconds. Make sure you are. Don't clap. Oh. Okay, so say bye to your low friend. To your low friend. Say bye to your low five. Good to see you. So now, pay attention here. Now you're going to find another friend. The third friend. But this is what you're going to do. You're going to share your activity. You're going to say hi with your knee. This is going to be your knee friend. So move here, move. Encuentra a tu otro amigo, busca a tu otro amigo y lo vas a saludar con la rodilla. Una tercera persona en el lugar. Ok. Ellos dicen que va a cuatro. Ellos dicen que va a cuatro. Ok. 
With all due respect, say hi with your knee. Saluda a tu amigo de la rodilla. Te vas a preguntar lo mismo. ¿De dónde viene? ¿De dónde es? El student pass, porque espera. Te ve bien, te ve bien. El student pass, por todo. Haga relación, le queda un minuto, le queda un minuto. Adelante.
Pero esos friends que están buscando para dormir, ahora ni se acuerdan cuál es la palabra. Y luego no, no, we're going to need help. Now we're going to need help. Okay, okay, okay. Say bye to your knee, friend. Now go to your low five, friend. Remember your low five, friend. Go and, go and see your low five. Get it up to low five. Bucalo. Oh my God, you really want to talk to Your Is your low five here? Look for your low five. Say how's it going? Just keep you know? yeah, yeah, it matching, you know? to see outside of the city. So seeing outside the city is this opportunity here. And I loved it. Thank you so much. Yay. Can you please introduce your four friends so we can know them? Oh, yeah. I know Raf. Your high five? Who was your high five? Raf. Oh, hi, Raf. Then low five is my name. Carson. Carson, yeah. Carson Mary, and then Rafa. 
There we go. Uh, in, me. In your no. Feet. Feet, 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 right here. Okay, there we go. You have four new friends, right? That's great, that's great. <laughs> Anyone else who wants to share the experience? No todos a la vez, as we say in Spanish. Alguien más quiere compartir su experiencia? Go ahead, bro. So, hi everybody, my name's Ralph. I'm uh, from Cal State San Bernardino. Uh, Great experience, it was really fun. We were just talking about how uh, Daima and I had just like, hey, we're gonna take this idea back. So, uh, awesome, awesome high five friend now, so far away high five. Um, I, Mary Jo was my low five, and Julissa, that was my knee, and Sumesh, that's the foot. So I managed to get three of them in the last activity, so. Uh, but it's awesome to meet you guys, and it's, and it's great to, uh, you know, great icebreaker, so we could all meet too. So that way we're not just in our own little pod, and. We're breaking up and meeting others. So we look forward to having a great time with all of you guys. So thank you. Thank you. That's great. So I want to introduce myself once again. I'm Alvin Troche. I study my bachelor, my master, and my doctorate in San Germán. As the chancellor just mentioned, she was a chancellor there. So I finished my doctorate degree there. And I'm working now with Bayamon as a director of extracurricular activities. We so all like yes, I just miss Ponce. But I was born in Ponce. So, Ponce, Ponce, lo demás es parking. That's a quote that we have here from Ponce. So, the thing is that I just write a book which is named Leadership. I host a podcast this day. It's uh, talking about leadership with Albert. So, one of my main goals is to make ordinary people that make extraordinary things. So, I'm a huge freak or fan of everything that students do besides when they are in classroom. You know, um, when you make a resume or you make a curriculum vita, uh, there's no way that you can say that you are a good person. The, 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 the best way that you can say that you're a good person is showing your voluntary work. What do you do in student organizations? What do you do when you're not getting paid for, or probably you're not getting uh, a punctuation in classroom? So I strongly suggest you guys and encourage you to make part of activities like this one. Probably some of your friends are back at school, and they just went to study. You guys are making a sacrifice of getting out of home, got out of your college, out of your comfort zone, and getting to know people. Probably getting to be in, in this place, Puerto Rico, which is very heat now, very hot in these days. But you're doing something different, which is gonna look great on your resume. It's gonna look great on your experience. And then when you graduate from school, or from college, you can say, I have a new experience in life, I have something new to share, and I have more new friends. So make sure you make a lot of friends here and get the most out of this activity this whole week. As, you, as I can mention, Friday is almost there. So even though today is Tuesday and we are just starting this, it's gonna run. When you're enjoying something, it's fast. Are we having fun? Woo! Well, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh my god, what are we fine here? Okay, so I'm gonna show you something here before you guys get boring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you know that leadership has been a fundamental topic for more than 100 years? Another thing, a Google search returned approximately 430 million results of leadership. I, I thought I was the, the um, writing a new book about leadership. But there are thousands of leadership books. I went, to, I, I went to present the book in one of the campuses in the university, and the one who is, was hosting he said, why do you write another book about leadership? I told him, okay, if you find another Puerto Rican who write a book about leadership, or is based on research on leadership in Puerto Rico, or the Caribbean and Latin America, I I think it's another book. But this is not another book, this is a book different, because it has a different author has a different target. It's based on student leadership and how you can enjoy your leadership. So, everybody can buy the book. So it's very important, and this campus uh, is right here on the bookstore. So, it's right here, it's right here, right here. So the thing is, that I was looking for a book when I, uh, when I was a leader, back at, when I was a student leader, when I have your age, and all the books that I found, was based on leadership for management, were based on educational leadership, were based on ecclesiastical leadership, as we mentioned, just for pastors or reverends and ministers. There was no books for leaders, for student leaders. And then, okay, how am I gonna do that? Then I went to my doctorate. 
And I made my dissertation. When you go to your doctor, you have to make a dissertation. So my dissertation was on student leadership and student organization in two styles of leadership, transformational and servant leadership. So based on that, I think I got a book now. But the dissertation is a very boring book. Just academics will understand it. So probably if I go to a high school, if I go to a, a college, probably our students will get bored because it's an academic thing, which is good for the academia. You will find it on ProQuest, or you will find it on the library, or you will find it on the La Biblioteca, as we call it. But I say, I need to share my story. So I combine my dissertation with my story of life. Since I was on the student club when I was in elementary school, I run for president. I remember. I run for president when I was on the uh, I'm in elementary school in Guarica, which is a very small town here in Puerto Rico, and it's very known for the earthquake. So there, I start my campaign as a leader, because I was running for president of a student club. And I remember that I won. Then I run, and I shared this story when I went to a student um, activities back in high school. Then I went to the student council of the university. So all those stories I share in the book, and also combined with the substantial of the research that we made based on student organization. So you will find a lot of activities on the book. I remember when I had the first draft of the book, the thing is when I have received the first draft, it was very boring. I said, I cannot sell this. So I had a lot of activities that said educational, because I'm a teacher, as I can mention. I went to music education, um, my master's and master's. So I worked in high school. I worked with elementary school. So I have a lot of fun, as you can tell. And then I'm working with the university now, with student leaders now. So always willing to make the students to make a difference. So there's another view I want to share with you guys. So the book is in Spanish, but in 2025, my new project is that the book will be translated in English. Because I know there's a huge problem. Yes, there's a round of applause for Albert Young. So I'm working on my webpage, which was, which was launched this week. Now I'm working on my agenda, will we um, also launch on um, the 25, 2025 agenda, because I strongly suggest a student make yourself that you organize yourself. Because in a few days, in a few years, in a few months, you will be working. So make sure that anything that you add to your curriculum, all the experiences that you add while you're a student, you can use it while you are at the workforce. Are we here? Yeah. Can you hear me now one? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now twice? No, that way, no, that way, no, that way. Okay. <laughs> Thousands of students have been conducted. And on the other hand, did you know that corporations spend more than $22 billion on education and training? Of that, 10 million is spent on leadership development. So, it's another reflection that we have here. You might have been. Teamwork is the secret that makes common people achieve uncommon results. Hola, hola. When you are working in university and you have a, when they send you to work with a, with a group, how many have to work in, in team groups? Here in Puerto Rico, they, they ask you, now there's an activity in the classroom when they read the syllabus. We have to make something in groups. Oh my God. So it is good. Probably you get to know people, great people, or probably weird people. And that's life. So you're having that experience since you're in college. So how do you get in the most out of it? I don't know if this happens back in the States, but the thing here, we made a WhatsApp group or a WhatsApp chat. <laughs> oh my God. So probably if you're a leader, you are in many of those groups, or probably Ruby or Telegram or WhatsApp. The thing is that we always have one person that does not do anything, but always send the good morning post. <laughs> Did that happen there? Okay. Here in Puerto Rico, there's always a good morning. You know what I can get? And Pastor, it's very early in the morning. And probably you don't see them in the meeting, but you always see the, the, the good morning post. And I'm like, we have a lot, we have a lot to do. Thank you for, for your kindness of sending the good morning post, but we have a lot of things to do. And you get to know people. John Maxwell. One of the gurus of this once said, if you want to get to know someone, travel with them. If you want to know all the person here, or the people here, go and travel with them. Because you're getting out of the comfort zone. And we're leaving out of the comfort zone a lot of experiences. So now, 
probably you're getting to know your, your, your counselor, with your chaperones, or your dean, or your chancellor that is with you guys, and your friends, because we are not in our safe place. We have to do a lot of things. So that's another skill of leadership that you're developing. I remember, I'm from two hours drive from here, San Germán. I used to travel a lot, because I always applied for scholarship and getting to go to conference and stuff, and I went to Japan, I went to Malaysia, a lot of countries. Buy scholarships, make sure if you want to travel, just find scholarship. All the teachers are on the book. So, the thing is, that do I from two hours drive, one of the Air Force, or the main Air Force that we have in Puerto Rico, is at one. So it's a two hour drive. So I don't have any problems to get to the country. Probably I have a problem to get to the airport. So if I'm leaving, or the flight is leaving at 6 a.m., imagine at what time I have to leave from San Germán, if I have to be three hours early in San Juan. So I have to leave like at 1 a.m. and then arrive because we all, we all have someone who leaves in San Juan, but probably that day, that person is not there. Yeah, I, I, have a, I have a lot of aunts here, so I, hey, aunt, can I stay at your home? I'm not here, I'm not here, so you cannot stay. Because I need to get my, my flight. You can stay with me, but no go. So I have to plan, even though my travel to get to the airport. So there's another management. So I'm getting to know people since from living from San Juan, getting to San Juan. And even the experience to get to the airport is a huge experience. If you're developing leadership since you're in the airport, because probably you're traveling far from home. You're getting to the TSA. You know what happens on TSA? Everybody's yelling. There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of what is going to happen. And if you lose your flight, madre mia, what are you going to do far from home? I remember I was on my way to Prague. Czech Republic, the International New Leadership Conference. So this is what my first international flight. Just imagine that. Yo tenía que viajar. Espérate que yo estoy hablando inglés como si yo supiera que tengo los hermanos en español. Everybody gets what I'm saying, right? ¿Me entiende más o menos? Si usted quiere yo, que tengo que cambiar los dos cerebros y me duele la cabeza. I was traveling to Czech Republic. Iba a la República Checa. And then uh, I had this first international flight. I made it to New York, and then I made it to France. The thing is that I got, I got a jet flight. El, el, ¿cómo que se llama? Yeah, a jet, jet flight. Mm -hmm. So I was lost. What am I going to do now here? Que yo hago aquí? And I thought that all airports are like the Puerto Rican airports. <laughs> that you just go to another gate, and you will find your flight. No, there's another terminal. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so terminal is like another airport inside the airport. Why are you guys are huge? Why are you guys are huge? Well, Puerto Rico is very small, you know. You get to, and then, okay, let's get to Terminal D. I didn't change my, there was no iPhone for that time. It wasn't back in 2011. Entonces yo no tenía iPhone, so I was with my computer and stuff. I was looking for Terminal D in Charles de Gaulle. I'm still struggling with my English. Como voy a hablar francés yo, imagínate. Okay, so I was looking for Terminal D. I didn't know what time was it. Then I was walking to the terminal, and I find, uh, uh, like a line of people, and I, oh, excuse me, excuse me with my tropical English, I need to get to Terminal D. Uh, and she was, what was it? She was mute. No, 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 with the signals, okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. huh? 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 For me, that's money. Mm -hmm. So I went in my wallet, and I <laughs> give her the first um, dollar bill that I got there. And then I start running because I have yet, I don't know what time the flight is leaving to Prague. It's another country, it's another language. What am I doing? I by myself, I'm not with a group. So I remember the last day, I made this uncle, everybody has an uncle that has a lot of money, right? <laughs> and he had me a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> so you, I just realized I can that mute lady a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> and then the thing is that I was like, okay. I went to the gate, to the terminal. The, air, the, the airplane was not there. So I missed it. No, you're on time. I said, oh, guess what? 
I was talking to the the teller, the, 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 the register from the gate. Uh, I made something good. There was a there was a civic organization um, helping people, and I gave them my money. Uh, isn't that good? I thought there was Lions International Rotary or something. There was a civic organization, and she said, "No, they're not. They're staffers." <laughs> So I hand them a hundred dollar bill <laughs> to that person, which probably was not me. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh. So imagine me on my first international flight, giving my money, lending my money. Como si fuera yo millonario. So I cried a lot. But that's a personal experience, which is an informal learning that you will use it for your formal learning. Tell me if it's not a personal experience that will influence your academic experience, your professional experience. But you're getting to know to travel. You're getting to know to not talk to everybody when you're traveling. Those are experiences that we all need. We need to get with people. Then I sit at the table with people and leaders from different countries, which it was a great opportunity. So make the most out of your student life when you're in university. University is the union of diversity. So make sure you get to know people. Probably the one who is sitting next to you in your classroom. It will be the next governor of your state. Probably it's gonna be the new CEO of the company and you will need a job. So make sure you make all the connections that you need while you're in college, while you're in campus. Get to student leader activities. Get to the student council. Get to the student organization. Make the most out of that because in a blink of an eye, you will be out of college, and you have to go to work. So all the opportunities that you have now will not be the same while you're a graduate student, or while you're graduating from school. So make the most out of it now. You are now willing, or you are allowed now, to make mistakes because you're a student. You know what a student mean? A estudiante in Spanish is a person who studied before. Estudia antes. So make sure you study before you are almost getting to graduation. So get the most out of it. If you have any questions, doubts or questions, this is Albert Rocha para servirte. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Albert787. Follow me on Instagram or LinkedIn. And you can see the post. I have three podcasts which are in English. I interview three uh, person, one of them a comedian. So I'm still working on my English, so be sure you find me on Instagram. So any do a doubts or questions, I will be with you guys the whole week. So, toda la pregunta para él. Yeah. Hello. We well, have business cards. Yes, of course. Oh, I have my POPO. I got my POPO, which is a digital, Great. digital yeah, card. Around. Sí, yo no tengo digital. Está, está por chat y pedido, ¿sabes? ¿Tú das una pregunta? So it's please, I'm pleased to meet you all. I have some copy of my books here, so probably we can make a raffle or something later during the week. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. Está bien, un placer. Gracias. 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 Gracias.